So, you know why you're here, don't you? <clears throat> um, I don't know you want to question me about a robbery. Were you there? Where? Were you there at Manchu's Kitchen this afternoon on South Claiborne Street? Yes, I was there, but I wasn't there when it happened. When what happened? The library? Yeah. Look, little boy. Don't try me. Tell me what happened. I went to get some detergent for my grandmother. What time? Around 3.30ish. You said you went to the store to get some dish detergent for your grandmother and the robbery was taking place. Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, getting washed in detergent and it was for full one. I'm out. No! You realize you mixed your times up. You know you screwed up, don't you? Sir, I was not there. But you were there. I was there, but not at the time that they robbed the place. Hey, his grandma's here to pick him up. I let her you wrapping things up. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to release you now. But don't go far. I'll be watching you. You'll be back. Trust me. You're late. I am not late. Oh, I sure I am late. Who cares? You look like you had a rough day. I did. Tell me about it. Come on, you know I can't discuss my cases. Just a little bit. Hey ladies, what can I get you? Uh, let me get a strong, cold, bitter, but sweet, iced coffee. Yeah, that's what I have. And can you make sure you wipe the glass clean, please? You got it. Anything else? Let me have what she's having. Sure thing. Thank you, friend. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Huh, never mind. So did you hear back from the investigator? No, I'm starting to think I should just leave it alone. We've been at it for years, and now we seem to just be going and stuff. I mean, someone's right. Let's just even in. Oh, this is my song. <gasps> you remember back when you used to date? What was his name? Oh, Kevin Powell, the one with the weird smile. Yeah, I remember. Wow, that was so long ago. You remember when he asked you to prom, and his palms were sweating, and his hair was soaking wet, and then when he finally opened his mouth, he had gum caught up in it. And it took me the entire dance to pull it out. <laughs> At least his breath was fresh. <laughs> I don't remember. Did you even go with him? No, it just didn't work out. <laughs> oh, I miss her. Who? Who are you talking about, Chloe? You. I miss you and how fun and courageous you were before you found out. Here we go. I'm still me. Faith, I'm just more... For God's sakes, you've changed. You look different. You dress different. And your hair is stuck somewhere, let's say, back in the early 70s? Hey, I've been through a lot. Give me a break. And I'll be with you every step of the way. Always. Hair and all. Trying to bring me back to life, right? 
I know. And one of these days I'll be free to live and come from out of the shadow. I didn't mean it like that, but if it works, then yeah, fine. Caroline, come to the lab. There's peace in the lab. Hello, Faith Mantles residents. How may I help you? Hello? Yes. Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you. I'll talk to you later. Do you want some? Something's wrong with you. Throw it away. Chill out. By the way, I put some of this in your coffee. <laughs> I'm kidding. I broke this milk from home. Get out. Come on. You know I wouldn't do that to you. It's not funny. So, how long do you need a place to stay? Hey girl, how's it going? Great, just get ready for me. Okay, yeah. listen, so I met this guy online. We have a date tonight. What do I wear? I'm so excited. <sighs> you met him where? Social media. Well, how long have you known this? I've been knowing him long enough to let him come to my pad, so. Whatever happened to the 90 day rule? Oh, honey, please, that doesn't apply to me. I'm grown. But you're making childish decisions. But okay. He is so handsome. Girl, he is in the medical field. He is studying to be a doctorate. <sighs> doctorate like medical doctor? I know, cool, right? Okay, so what do I wear? I'm thinking strapless red long silk dress. Wait, no, I got it. I'm wearing animal print. Ha! Ah, just let him just have it right well, on the well, gate. You can't resist. Well, maybe animal print on the first day may be a little distasteful. You need to fall back, way back. Oh. And whatever you do, keep your heart in your body, please. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to me, girl. Listen, I will keep you posted. Hey, I don't know what I'd do without you. It's a case I want you to hit up. I do it, but I don't have time. Okay. His name is John J. Butler. He's 15 years old. He was identified in an armed robbery. He says he wasn't there, but you know how that goes. What's the problem? It sounds like case closed itself. Yeah, well, his, his choice of friends were also identified in two home invasions. One of the owners was shot, and he's in critical condition. What about the mother and father? Father's in Iraq. His mother is deceased. I was, I was told that he took it pretty hard. I don't know. He may just be acting out. Any relatives? He's living with his grandmother for now. He may just be hanging with the wrong crowd. We need to catch him before the street does. He's actually a good kid. You know, I, I could get used to this. This feels good. Oh! Hey, boss. Yeah? Why me? You could have told us anybody. Let's just say you were the man for the job. You mean the woman? Yeah. Hey, keep me posted. Yeah.
I'm sorry. Are you okay? I, I was... Obviously not watching where you were going. Again, I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? I'm fine. And you? Look, let me grab my insurance card. That way we can exchange information and I can get you on your way. I'm sorry, what'd you say your name was? I didn't. Oh, okay. You must be having a bad day, huh? Yeah, you know, I, I have those all the time. God, oh, she's not what her name is like. Excuse me? You don't know a thing about me, and I like to keep it that way. I apologize. It's That should be enough information. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Well, uh, you have a blessed day. And uh, again, I'm, I'm sorry about that dent. Don't worry about it. I thought you were supposed to come by next week. Hi, I'm Faith Mantle. I spoke with you on the telephone. How are you? Fine. Uh, can I get you something to drink? I can fix you something. Oh, no, thank you. Um, I had something to eat on the way over here. I heard some music playing on the way in. Very nice. Yeah, I've gotten used to listening to the music since I'm not working, but I'm looking. Did you say you're not working now? I said I'm looking for work, just haven't found anything yet. Hold, hold on, pretty lady. That article right there is going to be priceless in some years. <clears throat> okay, so is this how you normally keep it? Um... <coughs> what is that? What? Miss Jacobs, I don't mean to offend you, but how often do you clean up around here? Well, I mean, you know, since I got sick, it's kind of been hard. But you should know how it is. Normally for these type of cases, I would have to inform my supervisor, get an inspector out here to come in and inspect the home. Do you mind if I check around a bit? No, you're going to do that anyway. Is your toilet functioning? Excuse me, ma'am. Hello? Is something wrong? Please don't report us. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll clean up if I have to. Just please don't rat us out. So how are you, Keith? I'm okay. How has school been? Lunch is good. I made new friends. How are your grades? I'm making uh, straight D's. I am real proud of him. He is doing the best he can. I'm a good person. I mean, that's what my teachers say. I can't. Why don't you go back to your room and finish your homework? And let me finish talking to the lady. It's okay. Go ahead. No, hold on, Keith. Um, oh, this is... This home is, is not safe. Does this smell bother you at all? I mean, this place can be very harmful to your health, and even your mom's health. What if I got this place all cleaned up and I took you to one of your cousin's houses and... I'll stay here. We love it here. Listen, the last thing I want to do is report you, but these living conditions are unacceptable. This house is disgusting. Why are you letting this happen? Look at him. Does he look depressed 
or sad, I take good care of him and no one's gonna take my boy away from me. Okay. Listen. Mm -mm. You people are all the same in my eyes. I will be back on Wednesday. And if this house is not up to par, Then we're gonna have some issues. And don't make me regret this. <laughs> you people don't have a heart. You just cannot barge into someone's home and take away their children. A heart, Mrs. Jacobs? If I begin to tell you why I was in this, you wouldn't still feel that way, so please. Listen, I am so sorry. Don't be. You see, this is not about you or me. This is about child welfare, okay? I didn't mean to offend you. I was just you trying did, to tell you. You just feel. remind me of why I continue to do this. Now I expect this home to be cleaned on Wednesday. Yes, ma'am. going on up in here. What you cooking? Are those my good pots? We have no idea. Those are old. Old? I was saving them for the holidays. So tomorrow ain't promised. Now go get comfortable and feed your belly. I can hear it a mile away. Sizzling. Thank you, Chloe. I really needed this. Oh, some guy called. He says that your insurance is expired and he needs to see you to get the right information. Oh, I got into a fender. I told you about texting while driving. Is he at least cute? I wasn't paying attention and I wasn't texting while driving. I was actually coming from a client's home and can you believe she accused no, no, go ahead. I've been waiting for some news all day. Well, can you believe she accused me of taking pleasure in removing a child from the home? I had to set her straight. Did you make her pay? No, I didn't make her pay. I just told her I had the house clean by Wednesday. If not, I'll report it. Can you not chew your food like that? Like what? Like that. Close your mouth. Oh my God. Do you have a note from the housing inspector? Okay. Okay, so great. I just need to see Keith and we're good. Oh, he is not here right now. Oh, where is he? He said he was staying late after school to take some tutorials. Well, do you know what time he'll be back? Because he was supposed to be here when I came. Would you mind not smoking that? Tell me not to smoke in the house. Well, thank you. Okay, well, what time will he be back? Because I can tell him you stopped by. I'll just have to revisit on next week. What's the good time to come over? I guess the same time next week. Okay. Hey, what's up, Faith? What are you doing? Son, go and take your medicine now. Someone needs to tell me what's going on here. What's going on? Apparently a whole lot that you don't know about. 
I don't understand. <laughs> no, really now. Are you satisfied, by the way? We cleaned up the whole house. We did it all just for you. Now what? What's in the bag? Oh, I got you a burger. Just like you like it. Extra mayo, no onion. What is wrong with you? Go and take your medicine now. What's wrong, Mom? I got you a burger. You said you were hungry. Are you crazy? Coming in here the way that you are? You knew that lady was- Yeah, Mom, I did. Listen, someone needs to tell me what is going on or I'll have to have you reporting Mrs. Jacobs what is going on. Well then, brace yourself, lady, because this one's going to trip you out. Keith Antonio! Listen, I think we all just need to calm down, and I'll talk to your mom for a second. Oh, is that my cue to leave? <laughs> Let me tell you how my mom forced me to act like I was crazy. Keith, that is enough. What, mom? The lady came here to take notes. Let her take these notes. I'm not crazy. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> my mom forced me to act like I was sick and crazy to... Get this, just to get a check because she didn't want to get off her butt and find work. So she used me as a scapegoat. If you don't shut your mouth, I swear to God. Don't you dare call on God right now, Mom. What kind of Christian, no. What kind of mother would coach her own son into acting crazy? <laughs> Heck, what am I saying? You did this. I don't know what is going on here. But Ms. Jacobs, I'm gonna have to have this investigated. And if this is true, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Wait, you, you gonna take his word over mine? He's a child, I'm a grown up, he don't know nothing. Oh yeah? You wanna see how crazy I am? Check this out. What is this? It's my music. My mom told me to hide it, to keep it a secret that if anyone found out, they would take me away. Shut. Your. Mouth! I am a musician! I had to act like I was dumb. Stupid. Practically retarded. But you know what? I'm not. I'm not, mom. <laughs> I'm very gifted. <laughs> I can write and compose music. Can you prove this is your work? I can do more than prove it. I'll show you. Thank 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 you.
However, they were still able to verify the information. So, how you been? I've been good. Um, if there's anything else you need, you already have my insurance info. So. You know, it's really nice to see you again. You're a lot calmer. Yes, I am. <laughs> Can I help you with anything else? I'm probably gonna sound real corny for saying this. But, uh, I'm hungry. Um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> right, you gotta be. What about dessert, though? Mm. You like dessert, right? Mm, well, I don't know. I... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you can at least do dessert with me, right? Yeah, I, don't, I won't bite. Listen, I'm not the kind of... <laughs> me either. <laughs> uh, I'm not the type to get involved. I mean, not like that. Before you interrupted me, I was going to say I don't normally go out with strangers. Well, then I don't have to be. I can be a, uh, an associate. I have enough of those. Well, then let me be your client, then. Because my brother needs some help, too. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what I do? Let's just say I get around. OK, fine. Cool, cool. So how can I get in touch with you? Don't worry, I'll get in touch with you. Faith. What's going man, on? Man. What we got for you today, boss? I'm not necessarily sure today, man. She distracted me, bro. Oh, man. That's Faith, man. That's Faith. One of my best customers. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm trying to get to know it. Show you some more. Nice. Up. Thought these were mine. Hello? I'm fine, thanks for asking. And who is this? Faith is that guy you said is stalking you. What guy? Calvin. Tell him, tell him I'm busy. She told me to tell you that she's. Hello? Yes, it's Faith. Um, I have to, um, I have a, I have another appointment. It's, um, it's a girl thing. Yeah, thank you. What time? She'll be there. Done. See you soon. You get your things and I want you out tonight. Fine. I'll just... Camp out in the back of the building for a few minutes. Well, good. This should teach you to mind your own business. Look, thanks for everything. I'll always love you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Take as long as you like. Just stay out of my private <laughs> life. You're such and a wimp. My apartment's ready. I'll be out before you get home tonight. And let your hair down tonight and be free. I'm sure you'll look fine. Well, shut up and come help me. Just don't wear that shirt. Bye, oh. girl. Is John here with you? No. He's outside playing. Did you not know that I was coming today? We sent out a letter to inform you of my visit. I didn't receive a letter. What is your relationship to John? I'm his grandmother. Okay. Um, can I see you use a cane to get around with? Yeah. Sometimes I have a little pain in my foot. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, how's he been since his mother passed away? Honey, she passed away years ago. Right before... Hmm. Before... Before... She will see JJ take his first step. I've been raising him ever since. 
Doing the best I can with him. May I ask, um, where's his dad's station? He's in Iraq, you know, serving our country. <laughs> I'm really proud of him. Do you want some coffee? Here you go. You wanted some water too? Miss Reddings, I didn't ask for crackers. But thank you anyway. His mother is a twin. You know, I've searched all over trying to find his auntie, the twin sister. But I couldn't find her. So, I just quit. But one day, the Lord will bring her back to me. Sounds like you've really had your share of trouble in life. <laughs> one that I'm not too proud of. But by the grace of God, he protects me. My only wish in life before I die is that I will meet my daughter before I go to glory. What do you mean? I mean, when the good Lord calls me home, I hope I have had the opportunity to just hold her. But can't cry over spilled milk. Well, it was nice talking with you. I'll have my office send out another letter um, to let you know when I'm available to meet with John. Thank you. So how did it go? It didn't. Girl, he came to my house on the bus. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Except for the fact that he asked for bus fare to get back home. So. Don't forget, you said he's in school. You gotta crawl before you walk, right? Whatever. <laughs> hey, so how'd it go with the Jacobs case? Well, when I went to the house, it was way past living conditions. It was horrible. I should have gotten him out then. Wait, you left the child there for a couple more days? Well, I gave them a couple days to clean it up. You know that that's not protocol. Come on, what were you thinking? Well, I was thinking I could give them a little time to get it right. But that's not all. When I went back to reevaluate the home, the house was clean. But what I did not know was that the mother was coercing her son into believing that he was crazy just to get a social security check. What? I know that what you've been through in your life is a tragedy, but you cannot let these cases get next to your heart. Okay. Okay. It won't happen again. I mean, what are you trying to do? Burn yourself out? How are you planning to solve this? The first thing I need to do is contact family services. What can I do to help? What am I thinking? I don't have time for a man in my life. I just, I don't know how to date. I don't know. Calvin? How, no, no, just stop it, Faith. You're being crazy. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna cancel. I don't know. I should. Oh, I'm an errand. Well, God, you hear me? Oh my God, what am I thinking? I can't do this. I, I'm a caseworker. This dress is extremely tight. I can't breathe. I don't believe in zodiac signs and, okay. And I don't wear weed. No, uh, it's, that's, what if he doesn't understand the fact that I'm a caseworker, I take my job very, okay, I'm just, I'm taking this too far. 
Should we get married and have a little babies? <sighs> no, this is crazy. I'm going. This is gonna be a great beginning of a friendship. Maybe we'll. How are you? What is this place? Who's... My, uh, it's, it's my parents' place. Uh, 20 years of service. Something smells really good. I don't drink any, I mean, I don't drink alcohol. Well, it's not alcohol. It's my own signature blend. Five different flavors, all from organic juices, a few spices, and a touch of lemon and cider. <laughs> wow. Do you go all out for all your lady friends? Uh, actually, I don't. I never invite anybody into my private affairs, but for you. I made an exception. I'm, um... <laughs> wow. You know, um, it's not true, Don't it's just... We're good. It's okay. This is, uh, this is real nice, right? Yeah, it is. Hey, you mind if I put on some music? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you want to. Please don't even try it. Please don't even try it. I love me some jazz. <laughs> oh, really now? So why am I here? Mm. So, are you trying to get fresh with me? Girl, do you hear what's on? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm quite content with my life is right now. 
Okay, so why am I here then? Because you have a story. <laughs> There's more to you than what meets the eye. And <clears throat> to be honest, I'm quite attracted to it. <laughs> I find you very interesting. Oh my God. What is this awesomeness? It's, uh, it's my mom's famous lemon meringue pie. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's one of the specialties here at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So you single? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. So I was I was at work today and the craziest thing happened. I saw this old lady. Next thing you know, she hands me a, a hotel room key and her number. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it. How could you do this? Everything was fine before you started snooping through my things. Snooping through your things? That's my house now. I pay the bills there. Oh, so I don't have you pay the bills there? You know what I was doing? You going and act like you don't know. Yeah, but you don't have to go and leave it on the table. Look, the cops are on their way. And if you get me in trouble, girl. What happened here? Why answer? You got everything figured out already, don't you? Hi, I'm Faith Mantle from CPS. Can I get your names? I'm Kiki Smith and he's my oh, boyfriend. I was your boyfriend. Because if I go back to jail... What is your name? Snow. Is that your real name or your street name? Kenneth Thomas. What you need to know my name for anyway? The cops are on their way and before they get here, I need to go over some details. Are you prepared? Go ahead, this ain't even my fault. How long was your child left alone in the house? A few minutes. I went to the store for some cigarettes. I wasn't even gone five minutes. How much did she digest? I don't know. Ask him. I don't know. Maybe three lines of it. I was right over there. You did this to her. You did this. Look, I can't go back to jail. Look how you got me all up in this mess. I can't go back to jail for real, though. You knew what he was doing, didn't you? Get a hold of yourself. Your child is in there fighting for her life. 
and you and your boyfriend are responsible. What were you thinking? I'm sorry, look, I didn't mean it. It was just this one. Listen, it only takes one time. If you don't get your act together, they're gonna come in here and take your child. Hey, you need to calm down. They're probably gonna take her tonight. I'll do what I can to help, but this life right here is not gonna cut it. How old are you? I'm 21. Do you have any family? No, I don't mess with them. Do you have a church home? No. Well, you're gonna need all the help you can get because trust me, you don't wanna live with the guilt of knowing they took your child because you were irresponsible. Motherhood is not a game. I know. You don't understand, I can't do everything by myself. Well, don't, but do what's important and she's more important than anything and anyone, period. If you don't get your act together, I will do anything and everything in my power to protect that innocent child. In there. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am, I hear you. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I see my kid. No. You have the right to an attorney. Hey guys. What's up? It's fresh? Mm-hmm. Booker. Mm. What's up? You will not believe what happened today. <clears throat> you know Faith, don't you? <laughs> yeah, who'd she send away this time? <laughs> guy goes by snow. This guy leaves his narcotics on the table. His girlfriend's daughter gets into it. Did she survive? Oh yeah, she's going okay. Um, oh boy, Faith let her have it too. She was not pulling any punches. Well, that wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> but you know, you know, I really like what Faith is doing in the community though. She's got that, that no tolerance law, two strikes and you're out. Three strikes, what happened to three? Like I said, no tolerance. By the way, does she have any children? Um, I don't think so. What about family? I don't know, she um, never really talks about family. She only fixes them. I wonder why she would get in that line of work when she doesn't have any kids. Who knows? Whatever inspired her has made a huge difference in this community. Did you watch the game last night? The buzzer beater. Yeah. Boom. Half court shot. I missed part of it. You want another donut? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Chloe. How's it going? I am at my mom's helping to get these Christmas lights together. So you're trying to impress her, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, who wouldn't try? Yeah, she told me it's not really working, so I have an idea. Could you help me plan how to get away with murder? Wait, what? <laughs> Calm down, I'm kidding. So what kind of present did you get, Faith? Present? Today is Faith's birthday. Today? 
Don't take it personal. She doesn't tell anybody. She regrets the day she was born. Why, why would she regret the day that she was born? <laughs> I, I don't understand. I take it you don't know her story? What story? Okay. Pinky swear you won't tell her you talk to me. I'm sorry that I missed you. I waited for hours. Happy birthday, friend. I love you. Lord, if you hear me, help me, please. Who's there? Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Faye. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God. I thought we had something together. Anyways, I tried to call you. You didn't answer, so I thought something happened to you. I'm fine. Thank you for the cupcake. Um, I told you. I'm a private investigator, remember? Why didn't you return any of my calls? I'm sorry. Um, I had a really bad night. So you're just going to celebrate by yourself? What? I thought somebody mentioned to me that they didn't drink. I don't. I almost, um... 
You almost left. Hey, you okay? I almost relapsed tonight. I don't understand. I'm a recovering alcoholic, Calvin. That's why I don't choose to drink. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody's got a past, right? Not like mine. It's very complicated and I don't want to talk about it, okay? What's going on? Talk to me. You want to know why I can't let you get next to me? It's because my life is screwed up and I am the product of the system. I was a foster child, Calvin. My mom gave me away. Okay. I'm quite sure she had a good reason. I hate her. I hate the fact that she would give me away to complete strangers. Don't you see, Calvin? I'm a nobody. No family, no identity. Just me, myself, and I. And us, Faith. Me and you, right here, right now. You don't want to enter into my world. It's cold, dark, and lonely. You've come so far. Why would you give up now? You don't understand. I feel empty. I'm... I'm neglected that there's nothing here for me to offer you, Calvin. All that I have left is just enough to fight for the children. I mean, do you get it now? I do. And I'm ready and willing to come into your world. Let me catch you from falling. Let me reshape and recreate good memories. We can get rid of the old ones together. Instead of focusing on all the negatives that's happening to you, why don't we focus on what you want to happen right now? We can't do anything about the past, babe. It happened. You're a precious gift to this world. Look what's come from your dysfunctional life. So you think I'm a gift to the world? Yes. Your pain gave you the passion to turn it all around. Your work is priceless for the less fortunate. You are special. Even your name justifies that. What if I was sent here to help you fill out the blanks? Why don't you give me a shot to find your family? No, I'm done with that chapter in my life. Well, it doesn't seem that way to me. I'll look into it. And if I don't find anything, then I, I won't pursue it. I don't know. We've done all we could do. And... Then it can't hurt to let me try. You're a great friend, Calvin. And I, um, I truly cherish what we have. I'm here for you. Nah, about that cupcake. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, John. Nice to meet you. Hello. I'm Faith Mano from Child Protective Services, and um, I won't take up too much of your time, but I would like for you to fill me in on what happened at the store. Yes, ma'am. Um, well, I tried to tell Detective Gray that I was at the store when the robbery took place, but I was not involved. Ma'am, um, I know we all look alike, but I'm telling you I had nothing to do with that robbery. I was raised better than that. So you'd be willing to say who it was? Yes, if it clears my name, yes. May I speak with Detective Gray? He's over case number 546-375. Yes, this is Faith Mantle with Child Protective Services. Mantle? John Butler. So then I guess we'll just close the case? Okay. Thank you. What happened? Is it, is it okay now? Yes. Apparently, your name has been cleared. You're no longer a suspect. <laughs> wow. Man, thank, thank... Thank God, man. Hello? Give me the address. I'm on my way. Um... Uh, I'm gonna type up the report and I will send a clearance letter. It was such a pleasure to meet you, John. And if you need anything, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Child Protective Services. I'm here for your final review. I'll be right out. Hi, how are you? Can you verify your full name and ID number? Haley Malone, 763049. Where's my regular lady? I'm stepping in for her today. She's out with the flu. Haley Marie Lyon. Faith? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Girl, I've been trying to call you. I, I even stopped by your mom's house. She said you moved away. Let me look at you. You look amazing. A caseworker. You followed your dream. You remember when we were little? And we pinky sweared that we were going to help children. <laughs> you remember that promise? Yes. Um, if, if the your whole world, world is against us, that, that means we are against the whole world. Um, I got your back while you got mine because you and I are one of a kind. Oh my God. Oh wait. You and I was never part. <laughs> I remember that. I'm so proud of you. So, how you been? He's still old fashioned, but <laughs> you look good, girl. You know, I always respected how determined you were. You never let anyone stand in your way. So, you like my new house? Been here for a hot minute. It's um, it's a great transitional home for abused women, you know. What happened to you? Life. Life happened to me. It was good at first, you know. We um, I had the. Perfect 
perfect man. Mm -hmm. You know, the one that we said we would always marry. The good guy. And he was. You don't have to talk about this. I tried to be a good mother, a good wife. Come on, you know me. I'm always trying to please someone and they always come first. And I, I did that. I got tired of him hitting on me day after day. I was trying to leave with the children. Um, they were all, we were all packed up. But he decides to come home early that day. I heard the kids screaming, Daddy's home. He's here. So I rushed out the back door. I left my keys inside the house. So I ran to the next door neighbor's house. He found me. And he beat me till I was barely alive. The kids came back for me. I just wanted to see if I was okay. And <clears throat> they said my children were in an unsafe environment. And they took Sorry. I'm alive. Getting my kids back tomorrow. Moving in my home. Good. Um. <sighs> well, don't be a stranger. I want to meet the kids and I want to tell them about how fly their mom was in school <laughs> and um I miss you. I miss you too.
Hi, Faith. Hey. Call came in reporting that there's been some arguing and loud noises coming from the house, like items breaking. Who was arguing? Uh, the husband and the wife, and the wife took off. It's nothing new. They always fight and call us, and then they're right back together. <laughs> so why am I here? There's a little girl in her room who won't come out. We need to determine if the environment's safe for her. She's locked in. Okay. Let's go in. Mr. Carter, this is Miss Faith Mantle. She's from CPS. Why are you here? We just had a family problem, but it's solved now. Okay, so I'm here because a neighbor was concerned about the noises coming from your house and she was concerned about your daughter. Sir, would you mind not lighting that cigarette? As you can see, everything is fine here. So where's your daughter? Watch your step. Hi, sweetheart. I'm Miss Faith, and I'm here to help you. Can you come out so I can see you? Listen, we're here to take you away. Get you somewhere safe. Would you, I have, I have some candy. Would you like some candy? Can you come out so I can see you? I can. Why not? Why can't you come out? Daddy told me not to come out my room. Because mommy is angry. What's your name? Christy. Do you know your last name? What's your last name? Dominica. That's a beautiful name, sweetheart. Can you come out so I can see if you're okay? Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be okay. Hello? Hey, Miss Faith, Miss Faith. Hey, um. This is an emergency. Can you please, can you please come pick me up? Where are you? I'm at the corner of Rustic Lake. Can you please, can you please come pick me up? Listen, I'm not supposed to. I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. I'm at the corner. Can okay. Please, can you please come pick me up? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ma'am, thank you. Okay, okay. Over here! What's going on? What were you doing out there so late? My mother's gone again. What do you mean she's gone again? 
sometimes she drifts off. The doctor says she has early stages of Alzheimer's. Wait, how come you didn't tell me this? Because she didn't want me to tell anyone. She didn't wait till my dad got home. Miss Faith, you're not gonna tell anyone, are you? I don't know what I'll do if I lose her. She's like a mother to me. Please, don't. There she is, right now. Over here. Come on, we've been looking for you all over. Uh, I found her at the store, but she's okay. Thank you, sir. Is she okay? Yeah, I'll take care of her. But you're not gonna tell anybody, all right? I mean, my dad will be home soon. Let me figure some things out, and I'll speak with you in the morning. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Good morning. Hey, so I got some great news for you. Spill it. Did you forget to comb your hair? No, dude, it took me like two hours to get it this way. Y yeah. Okay. So I think I found Faith's family. No. Shut the front door, dude. Are you kidding me? Her last address is located in Chicago. She's a twin. That's not all. She lives here. Now her mom is still alive, but her twin sister died in a car accident. She also had a nephew that survived the accident. Oh my God. So this is what her mother looks like. Her sister had a son. So Faith's an auntie. We found her family. But you can't tell her yet. You gotta be kidding, come on, man. Not until I confirm every detail. Promise me. You know how long we've been waiting for this? I solemnly promise not to say anything. But hurry up. You're right. The father's in our act. Well, I mean, this is the part we hate. We're going to have to place him in foster care just until his father gets home. I can't do that. Faith, you don't have many options. I'm sorry, but well, this is what you signed up for. Correction, this is what you signed me up for. Oh, I'm sorry, am I interrupting? I can just come back. No, I was just leaving. Good luck with that. Hey, what's going on? How are you? What are you doing here? Just wanted to look at you. I missed you. You saw me yesterday. I know. I'm so frustrated. What's wrong, kiddo? I have to expel a client from his home. This is so hard for me. I, I feel like I, I know him somehow, like. Come on, there's nothing else you can do? I just, I don't know. I've grown attached to him. Hey, why don't you let me come over tonight? I can bring some ice cream and a classic movie. We can just chill out all night and celebrate. Sounds like a plan. What are we celebrating? We're gonna take a time out to celebrate you. By this time next week, you'll be complete. Whatever. <laughs> Oreo, double stuff, mm -hmm. cookies. Thank you, friend. Hey, don't be late. In here. Peace. 
Excuse me. Hi, you're the lady that came to the hospital, right? Yes. Hi, hi. How are you doing? I just wanted to let you know that I heard you. Well, I'm glad. So, how's your daughter? She's fine. And he's out of my life for good. Wow, good for you. I just wanted to personally thank you for saving my life. I'm working. My daughter's in daycare. We're good. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so excited for you. Okay, I have to go. I just wanted to let you know that. Girl, tonight is the night. This is my year. I'm feeling it. Woo! Destiny, I'm not trying to... Hey, what, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. I have something for you. <laughs> wow. Um, for me? Open it. Right now? <laughs> yeah, go on. Oh my God, does this mean that we're BFFs? Wait a minute, <laughs> slow down. We're definitely getting there. Wow, I um, I, th I thought that you didn't really. Well, I, I do. I appreciate you, Destiny, I, I do. Merry Christmas. What are you gonna tell them? Don't let these people trick you. They're out to get us. Don't be stupid. And hopefully you're wrong. Not everybody's out to get us, you know. If you would've just agreed to get help in the first place, we wouldn't be here. That's right, just blame it all on me. I'm the bad guy. Mr. and Mrs. Carter, we're ready for you. Mr. and Mrs. Carter, as you both know, we are here to determine the health and development of your daughter, Christy Dominica. We do have some concerns. Mr. Carter, you are Christy Dominica's stepfather. Yes, that's correct. How does she refer to you? She calls me daddy or papi. If I may ask Ms. Carter, is Mr. Carter the biological father of the unborn child? Of course he is. What are y'all trying to imply? I don't mean any harm. I'm just going over the facts. Let us begin. Miss Ketchings will now introduce herself. Hello, Christy. Hello. How old are you? Seven years old. Do you like to color? Yes. Christy, I'm going to ask you a few questions about your mommy, okay? And I did find that she has some fresh cores on her back. My, my child, she's very active at times. And I have to discipline her. If I hit her, you know, to make her sit down, she bruises very easy. I don't physically abuse my child. We would suggest that you do not make false accusations in this meeting. Miss Ketchings will speak, give her time to finish, then you can speak. Please proceed, Ms. Ketchings. I did find that Chrissy's fascinations are up to date. 
However, I am concerned about her low moods. Uh, she seems depressed. Mm -hmm. And I would like to refer to a psychologist for an evaluation. Okay, so she's crazy now, right? H Hi, I'm Miss Eunice, uh, Christy's teacher. And I do have some concerns with her tardiness. Uh, also, I would like to discuss her school uniform. What about her uniform? Well, it's probably not a big deal, but I've noticed on some days they're not cleaned. And your point? Ma'am, I'm warning you. If you keep this up, you're asking for trouble. Just... L lastly, sometimes it appears that uh, Christy may not have had breakfast in the morning. She comes in quite hungry some mornings. Well, sometimes I... Ma'am. For the most part, she seems quiet and withdrawn. A bit sad, just as Miss Ketching stated earlier. I understand that you have a drinking problem. No. Is your mommy nice to you? Does your stepdad, does he hit you? No, he's nice. Are you afraid of your mommy? Why, why are you afraid of your mommy? She hits me. She's angry. Can you show me where she hits you? Okay. I don't have a drinking problem, I just... Yes, you do. No, I don't. I drink because everything is stressing me out. My job, at home, my pregnancy. Well, how often do you drink? I drink four times a week, but not like that. I drink to calm down, to mellow out. You do know that you can be causing your unborn child harm. Mr. Carter, do you physically abuse your wife? No, I don't. I would never hurt her. In the report, it states that the police are continuously caused at the home. I called to calm my wife down. Do you have a problem with drinking? Look, I'm at work 16 hours a day. I've never hit her. Look, he doesn't hit me. He doesn't have a drinking problem. I'm the problem and I know it. You act like I don't love my child. I do. I'm not a bad mother. Christy, what can we do to make things better for you? How can we help you? By helping my mommy feel all better. And how do we do that? I know. You can give her milk and cookies. Just like daddy. I worry about her, her unborn child. I mean, come on. We all know the harm alcohol can do. Just feel helpless. What we need is to formulate a plan. And uh, we cannot repeat this same mistake with this child. This is not how you bring a child into this world. We will need to provide significant uh, monitoring with several professionals. We want to refer you to... Um, family therapy to assist you. In addition, we want to refer you, Mrs. Carter, to a rehab facility, outpatient care. And are you both willing to put forth the work? I will do anything for my children. I'm tired of living like this. 
ready for change. Amen. We'll take all the help we can get. Thank you. Please be aware, Miss Carter, if you don't get help and this baby is born with birth defects due to your drinking, you will face criminal charges. Christy? Gotta look for my dad. Did you? Dear John, how are you and your grandmother? Things are going well here. I miss you both very, very much. It's hard seeing people die every day and losing friends. Just can't wait to be safe home at home with you and Nana. I love you, Dad. Is that Charles? I'm coming. No, 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 that's not Grandpa. He's no longer with us. It's okay. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. I'll get it. Good morning, I'm Sergeant Daniel Lexington. This is Captain Henry Mansion. Dad! <laughs> Dad! What Dad. are you yelling for? Anna, I have it. I'm sorry. She has on set all time and she gets back and forth sometimes. Is there anyone else home with you? No, I'm the only one here. Charles? I'm a fake man I'll wait child protective services. What can I do for you? I'm here to inform you all. Sergeant John Butler was killed in combat yesterday. Pardon me? You're, you're lying. You were lying. I talked to my dad two days ago. They said he was John. coming home. John. They said he was, I talked to my John. dad two days ago. They said John. he was coming home. I talked to him. I, I do believe you did. Now, his unit was hit by a roadside bomb. Unfortunately, he was on a routine mission. And he was one of the soldiers who was fatally injured. John. <laughs> John. 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 Let me go! John. Get off me! John! <laughs>
Hey, what's up? Any paperwork signed? Yeah, remember that case you referred me um, to a few weeks back? Young man was accused of robbery? Yeah, I remember. Turns out his grandmother has onset Alzheimer's. And his father is now deceased. <laughs> oh, boy. Sometimes this job just gets to be too much. It's just not fair. This young man just lost his father and now we're gonna take him away from his only surviving family member? You know, I sympathize with you, but this case has just become critical. Listen, we need to make all the proper arrangements and have him placed in a foster home. Can we just give him a little more time just to at least grieve? Placing him now may be his last straw. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but that's the protocol. If it was up to me, yeah, I would give you more time. But this kid's life is in jeopardy. Yeah. Faith, look at me. Get out of your mind and make this happen. Hey. What's going on? What are you doing here? You know I don't. No, know, right? This is important. How did you know I was here? Never mind, my lord. I have to tell you something before you go in that house. What are you talking about? This is my client's home. Just listen. <laughs> Faith, Faith, just listen. I know you despise your mother for giving you up and everything that you went through trying to find her, but Faith, I found your mother. Calvin, this is not funny. I know. 
you were a twin. Your mother, she, she had you at such a young age that her mother, your grandmother, took you in and split y'all up. Okay, wait. You're not making any sense. Then where's my sister? I'm sorry, Phil. She died in a car accident years ago. I don't believe you. Faith, this family that you're about to break up? It's your own. No, you're lying. I searched for her and I could not find her anywhere. She was married, but her maiden name is Manta. She's your mom, Faith. John Jay is your nephew. But I... It's true, Faith. 